Houston. Urgent. Welcome back to MoFo Wars. I don't know exactly what the status of the civilization is right now at this point. I'll tell you what, man. I am, of course, your host, Alex Johnson. Still down here in the bunker, man. I'll tell you what, man. This is a scary place. I don't know what's going on outside. I can hear it. I can still hear it, man. I don't know what to do, man. Who's out there? Somebody talk to me. Tell me. Tell me what's happening. I, 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 I. I don't know what's going on, man, and and I don't know what to do. This is, by every measure, a travesty of justice perpetrated by Judge Juan Mershon. And I'll tell you what, I'm ready for the war. In case, in case you're not, you know, able to speak yourself, let me just say what's happening, man. I'll tell you what, they convicted Donald Trump, man, for 34 counts. Oh, my God. The fighting's already started, man. That doesn't mean the election's over. Far from it. This might even help Trump, who's been attacking the judicial system as rigged. Donald Trump unloaded on various targets on Friday, taking no questions. They were literally crucified by this man who looks like an angel, but he's really a devil. This is a humiliating day for the country that we all love. It makes us look like a joke to the rest of the world. Is this what they meant by the American way? Up to 26 guilty, but we are now up to 31 counts guilty out of 34. 32 guilty also coming in from inside the courtroom. Our producers now saying 33 and 34. They're saying guilty on all 34 charges. I've watched that clip so many times. I have it on Blu-ray now. I'm about 27 feet underneath Texas right now. But you can hear it. Man. I can hear it going on, man. I don't know what to do, man. I tell you what, it's the damn media that did this. The judge could decide to say, hey, house arrest or even jail. It could I'm face it could. what that could be. I'm okay with it. RNC live from cell block B <laughs> with a keynote speech from his warden, his cellmate Spider, that one guard who smuggles in cell phones up his butt, and for the cocktail hour, enjoy complimentary toilet wine. This is uh, a case where if they can do this to me, they can do this to anyone. Shut up, listen! <laughs> we may not be facing a situation where if you can't do the time, and I can't believe I'm saying this, don't do the crime. You saw what happened to some of the witnesses that were on our side. They were literally crucified. I've been hiding out for three days, man. I have no idea what's really going on outside. I, I think people are dying, man. Oh my God, it is scary, man. He famously said regarding Hillary Clinton, lock her up. Hillary Clinton, I didn't say lock her up, but the people don't say lock her up, lock her up. Brings us to a segment called, what's the play here? I mean, obviously we have clips that prove he said lock her up, and he knows we have clips that prove he said it. So what's the play here? We never said we have the meats. <laughs> the people said we have the meats. You're saying that he was convicted of crimes, man. That's not true, man. They didn't actually convict him of, of any election crimes like they said. It's all actually made up. See, he didn't do anything. He didn't even touch that horse face girl. I mean, I would have obviously, but but I'm not as sexy as Donald Trump, so. so crooked Hillary, way crooked that you should lock her up. I'll tell you. Lock, lock them all up. Tell you what, for what she's done, they should lock her up. She's disgraceful. It's disgraceful. Honestly, it's disgraceful. Lock her up is right. You should lock them up. Lock up the Bidens. Lock up Hillary. <laughs> What's the play here? 
Hillary Clinton. Oh, she's crooked, folks. She's crooked as a $3 bill. You should lock her up, I'll tell you. Lock her up is right. But what she's done, they should lock her up. Or not showing the clip, which sure saves us time, but also lets him off the hook. And her lawyer should go to jail with her. She has to go to jail. Lock up the Bidens. Lock up Hillary. She shouldn't even be allowed to run for the office of president. Hillary Clinton has to go to jail, okay? She has to go to jail. Doing that risks falling into the same track the media continues to fall into with Trump, where the flood of lies, contradictions, and mistruths is so unending that you throw up your hands and say, what does any of it even matter? It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. What's the play here? These people should be indicted. This was the greatest political crime in the history of our country. And that includes Obama and it includes Biden. That Biden family and others, but that Biden family is corrupt. It's a corrupt family. And with me and my kids, let me tell you, my kids, I'll tell you something though, and it's very, lock them up. You should lock them up. Lock up the Bidens, lock up Hillary. Lock them up. You believe this Republican congressman on MSNBC? MSDNC, I say. In his lawyers thought they could bully their way through through the, these proceedings. I us now to analyze the coverage in Nashville. Tommy Laren, the host of Tommy Laren is fearless on OutKick. Or you think this uh, case should never have been brought? I certainly thought it was flimsy and openly political. But I don't know that the public would stand it. You know, I don't. I'm not sure the public would stand for it. I think it would be tough for the public to take. Oh. It would be tough for the public. Actually, I happen to have a large number of the public here. Hey, public, <laughs> what do you all think of Trump going to jail? You believe they're celebrating this stuff? I tell you what, man, it's bullshit, man. I, 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 I'm sick of it. How do these people do that? How do, how do you think this is good? That the president has been convicted of 37. But 34, see, he's already three deals short. Bye bye. To me, the more sickening part here is the way that the media has been covering it, the way that the media has been celebrating this. It was a dark day for justice. It was a dark day for America, no matter if you like Donald Trump or you don't like Donald Trump. And these are some of the same media pundits, hacks, as I would call them. Democrats that. have succeeded in their years long quest to turn America into a whole country. How could this happen? This well, is this is America. This is democracy. This isn't the Soviet Union. This isn't some banana republic. How can this happen? I, I think it may be the undoing of our country. We are a country that, that was born of revolution. Revolution is in our DNA. We are fighting. But I am, my insides are so angry. We're gonna get back up. We're gonna regain our strength. And then we're gonna vanquish the evil forces that are destroying this republic. There's no celebrating to be had here, man. You're ridiculous. I don't see how anybody can think this is good for our country. I don't see how anybody can think this is good for anybody. When they say that the seas will rise over the next 400 years, one eighth of an inch, you know, which means basically you have a little more beachfront property, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's just insane. Fact is, they tried to kill him. That's what they did, you know. They tried to execute him. Maybe that was the plan all along, man. Trying to kill him. RV covered in Donald Trump campaign posters was totaled when it crashed into a utility pole on Staten Island on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Tell you what, man, my boy's hard to kill. My boy ain't going down like so that. So this did them a favor in more ways than one, and it's really a travesty to watch them celebrate like they are. I don't think anybody would look at Biden-Harris, even if you're a Biden-Harris supporter, and say that that campaign has energy or that that candidate has energy. So, again, this is going to do well for Donald Trump in terms of fundraising. Yeah. What about failing Joe Biden and Kamala Harris? I tell you what. 
I mean, it's supposed to be about jobs, I thought. I thought Biden was going to feel back better. 14 million jobs. That's bullshit, man. It's only 12 and a half million. They're lying. They don't want anyone to go to jail. They want everyone to get out of jail free card. They want cashless bail. They want thugs and felons to roam the streets. They want illegal immigrants who beat up co cops to get plea deals. But then they celebrate Donald Trump saying no one is above the law when they want everybody else to wreak havoc and do as they please. That to me is really rich. Wait, they want illegal immigrants to beat up cops? You tell him, Tommy. Tommy's right. I tell you what, man. Those guys in, the, in that video, you know, that's not even the guy in this video. But that doesn't matter. That's not the point. They shouldn't let him go. He's a criminality, illegal Mexicali. He's not going to lose because he's a political prisoner. So I think this is going to breathe new life and energy into his campaign, something that the other side simply doesn't have. They got that Cohen over there on MSNBC. That's right, Tommy. You tell him. Bunch of bullshit. But the Democrats got what they wanted because we're talking about this and we're not talking about right. Joe Biden's failing policies, which is what we should actually be talking about. You dumb, Tommy. Donald Trump's bringing life back into this party. And this conviction is going to bring energy back. Tommy Lauren's right. She's a great patriot. I don't give a damn what anybody said. We, we aren't a serious country anymore. We're literally a banana republic. So what does it matter funding the government? The American people don't give a shit. I tell you what Democrats should be celebrating. The old age of their president. President, can you tell us, sir, Donald Trump refers to himself as a political prisoner and blames you directly. What's your response to that, sir? Not getting anything done. Look at his damn policy. Every prediction that Donald Trump said has come true. Wrong. Biden's plan will destroy 5 million jobs. 353,000 jobs added in the first month of the year. What a blowout report. Your 401ks and money itself will be worth this. You might have noticed in the corner of your screen here, the Dow has never been higher than this. If Biden wins, there will be no fracking, no oil. The United States is producing more oil than any country ever in history. Bankrupt your social security system. Senior citizens set to see a big bump in their social security tax. You'll be locked down for years. The COVID-19 public health emergency in this country officially ending at midnight tonight. If Biden won, China would own the United States. They would literally own the United States. Trade deficit with China was up under Donald Trump. Under Biden, it's finally coming down. There will be no school, no graduations, no weddings. Marriages are back to pre-pandemic levels. No Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. No Easter's. Happy Easter. No Christmases. Merry Christmas, America. No Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July, America. Other than that, you're going to have a wonderful life. Desperate for payback. I truly hope that this man ends up in prison. The jury hearing Cohen on his podcast appearing in search of vengeance. Revenge is a dish best served cold. And you better believe I want this man to go down and rot inside for what he did to me and my family. Cohen says he informed Mr. Trump at the time the deal to pay off Stormy Daniels would be done. Blanche today raising his voice saying that was a lie. Exactly. He's a convicted felon, man. I mean, he was lying for Trump, but, but, but Trump didn't tell him to. Trump didn't tell him to go mortgage his damn house and give some girl $150,000. Or some other girl $150,000. And who knows what girls we don't know about that don't exist. Because for some reason, Trump paid him $640,000, which is what you do when you pay your lawyer. It's not like they work by the hour or something. That's stupid. I do believe the Supreme Court should step in. Obviously, this is totally unprecedented, and it's dangerous to our system. I mean, this is what you see in Banana Republic. Banana Republicans never stop with the guy at the top. We have gone over a cliff in America. Attacks. Will you condemn those threats? Well, Peter, I don't know what obscure websites that you've gone to. Well, to no, find this is from Truth Social. It's not an obscure website. But an individual says, I hope every juror is doxxed and they pay for what they have done. May God strike them dead. We will on November 5th and they will pay. You can condemn Again, that threat, can uh, you? Uh, it's a big deal, a non disclosure agreement. Totally honorable, totally good, totally accepted. Everybody has them. NDAs, everybody has them. Hell, I got one. It's a restraining order from. It's, that's different. 
My wife's a bitch. Saw that in New York City. They don't take these people who even have jumped cops and attacked cops on camera. They think those people should be the, given the benefit of the doubt. But Donald Trump, the book should be thrown at him, even if it's a book nobody's ever read before or ever seen before. Never Trumpers calling me and saying, Tim, I'm on the bandwagon now. I've seen this two-tier justice system working against the president of the United States. It could work against me, too. Well, I think what's sad for America is the whole weaponization of the, the system and what we're going to see more of this. We're going to go into Hunter Biden's laptop. FBI subpoenaed Hunter Biden's laptop. There's a lot in that laptop. Regarding Hunter Biden's laptop. 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 The laptop from hell, right? As for the system being weaponized against Republicans, not sure what Democratic Senator Bob Menendez feels about that, or for that matter, Hunter Biden. That's the president's son there arriving today at a federal courthouse in Delaware for day one of his trial on gun-related gun charges. Bring in Robert De Niro, who was shot down, but apparently he needs attention because it's been a while since he's cranked out a good movie. DJ TJ knows what's up because he's the man. Yo, DJ. I cannot wait for the day that we win. We will. We're white. You're damn right we're white. Now, I don't know how long this war... The war is raging outside, man. I, I, mean, I can't even hear myself think. Somebody tell me. Tell me in the comments, man. What, what should I do? What, where should I go? Should, do I stay in the bunker? I only have like 18 months worth of food, man, but I've been down here three days and I'm getting a little jittery. Wait. Forgot that was on. Okay, now look, look. Somebody tell me. What, what do we do now, man? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't negotiate, let's investigate. We'll accelerate, I'll take it in down. 